Unpacking, a kick in the teeth, navigating the nuances of English idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an idiom that might sound a bit odd at first. A kick in the teeth. This phrase is a vivid example of how English can use strong imagery to express feelings and situations. Let's unravel its meaning, usage, and history together, making it easier for you to understand and use it in your conversations. A kick in the teeth is an idiom that describes a severe setback or disappointment. Imagine expecting something positive or at least neutral, and instead, you receive news or an outcome that is surprisingly negative. It's like expecting a handshake and getting well, a kick in the teeth. This expression vividly captures the shock and pain of unexpected bad news or a betrayal. It's important to note that this phrase is used metaphorically and emphasizes strong emotional reactions to adverse events. To get a better feel for this idiom, let's look at some examples. After working on the project for months, being passed over for the promotion felt like a kick in the teeth. Finding out that the trip was canceled at the last minute was a real kick in the teeth. In these sentences, the phrase is used to highlight how the speaker felt deeply let down by the circumstances, emphasizing the emotional impact of the setback. The idiom, a kick in the teeth, has a somewhat murky history, like many idioms in the English language. Its vivid imagery likely helped it gain popularity for expressing the feelings of betrayal or major disappointment. Although it's hard to pinpoint exactly when or where it originated, its usage has been well documented in literature and speech throughout the 20th century. This idiom is a testament to the creative and often dramatic way English can convey complex emotions. Understanding idioms like a kick in the teeth can enrich your English learning journey, offering you more ways to express emotions and experiences vividly. We hope this exploration of such a colorful phrase has been enlightening and will help you feel more confident using it in your conversations. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's about capturing the human experience in all its variety. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!